So we're headed back to my alma mater, UMass Lowell, and we're speaking to the Real Estate Network Association and the Manning School of Business. So it should be pretty exciting. I'm excited. It should be fun. Let's go. So we just got into Lowell. We're gonna be meeting up with one of my old roommates and old teammates, Ruben Sanka. Um, we're, we're gonna be going over um, a couple a couple details of the meeting. He's actually gonna be hosting and moderating tonight to keep things interesting. And him being my former roommate, you know, he definitely knows a lot of great stories. So uh, stay tuned. How are you? Good I'm here. Do you have a reservation? Yes. Can you wait? Yes. Okay. Uh, see where that black Jeep is? Yes. Anything before that? Any one of those spots on the right is good. You're the man. All Thank right. you. Have a good afternoon now, sir. All right, so I'm gonna give my friend, uh, All-American alum from track and field cross country, Danny Wang, a nice tour of the campus uh, because he's back after a few years. And now we're gonna go check out our brand new building right behind you. That is uh, our business school. This was all a parking lot. Now we put some green areas around here. Awesome, thank you for the kind words. Um, so I work for Engelin Volkers, they're a global company. Um, we have over 800 offices. People always ask me how I got into real estate. You take an exam, take a state and federal test, and then if you pass, um, you're licensed to sell real estate. So the barrier to entry really isn't that hard. Um, I would say the number one thing that you're gonna see, um, if you can take it, is you're gonna get pushback from all the veteran real estate professionals in the city. Um, or just anywhere you are, because now you're another individual who can take money out of their pocket or take business away from them, potentially, right? So if you're doing a deal with someone who's, who knows what they're doing, they just, they kind of, they're hard pressed and they put pressure on you. And as a young agent, it's very easy to fold, but if you hold your ground and you realize that, you know, you, it's a 50-50 transaction, it's a 50-50 relationship, um, to get to the finish line, which is ultimately the closing for residential real estate, um, you know, the, 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 no one can really take advantage of you. You're not really gonna get anywhere without support, right? So if you find an office, you can't just find any office. You have to see if you click with the office. And now if you click with them, how can, oh, how can you make their team better? Because I, I forget who said this, but if you, if you help people get what they want, they'll help you get what you want. So if you can help their team, They'll, they'll help you times 10 to get to whatever your goals are. I have a lot of references back to track and field because it was a huge part of my life for so long. 
At UMass Lowell, I was never the best runner. I was never number one. But I see that as a blessing in disguise because I always had something to chase. You need to compare yourself, in my opinion, to the rest of the world. If you're comparing yourself to the Merrimack Valley, right, to Lowell, to North Campus, of course you're gonna be the best. But what does that mean? That doesn't really mean anything. So then the number one realtor in Boston, she's, I mean, let's say for argument's sake, she just makes a million dollars a year. So what is she doing that I'm not doing, right? What has been successful for me is joining clubs. If you have a schedule, if you have a model work week, that's what I call it. So if every Monday and Wednesday, you're meeting with different groups at like 6.30 in the morning, right? You put that effort in, you're, you're, going to, you're going to get leads to the point where your phone won't stop ringing. The point where you're almost, you're picking and choosing, right? So right now, if you don't have any business, it's because you're not meeting enough people. If you put out the effort and connect with people, right? I, I think that's the number one thing. It goes back to the model work week, lead generation. You, it has to be a constant flow. As, as soon as you stop, I mean, you, that, that's when it kind of ends. I become a much better listener. If you become a better listener, people will tell you basically how to sign the deal or sign the contract, and um, it makes your job a lot easier. Thank you. Good job. No, nice meeting you. Oh, what's this? Oh, come on. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You put the practice in. They no. should have listened to you for another hour. No, 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 come on. No, I am. That was really engaging. Good, good. I, I, I think it was a great event. We had a pretty good turnout. Um, thank you to Ruben um, for moderating. He kept, he kept everything light. Um, and thank you for Reina, to, to Reina um, and the team, executive board, um, for setting up this whole event. So we're wrapping up here at UMass Lowell. The event was a success. Um, the audience was engaging. Um, all the questions were awesome. I can't wait to be back. Thank you. Um, I'll talk to you guys later.